literally we were, we were wading through about six inches of water and three feet of muck. In that sediment was about 75,000 pounds of phosphorus. The more phosphorus that is in the environment, the more plant production we have, the more algae production we have, and that's what leads to these huge algae blooms that ultimately people see in the lake. And it just so happened to be that it was about three times what the target concentration is that we're trying to shoot for in Dorn Creek. We did dating on the sediments, found that it, it could be up to 125 years old at the very bottom where it's been accumulating over these decades. We have four lakes that are all connected. What goes into the top lake, Lake Mendota, runs through every single lake. It's about a 2.3 mile stretch, stretch of river. At the front side of the hydraulic dredge, there's some blades on it that's agitating the sediments. It's mixing the sediments with the water, kind of like a, like a blender. There's a pump, which is vacuuming the sediments off the bottom. Then that goes through a pipeline. And that pipeline, in this case, went up to almost about three miles long. And at the dewatering basin, that's where the sediments will settle out and the clean water then will um, continue and, and go back to the stream um, where it originated from. When we started this project, the stream was actually short-circuiting around the wetland, and we brought the stream back to its original location. We try to keep uh, you know, water where it lands and soil in its place. The rain events that we're experiencing we're not going to be able to turn those off. We're going to continue to see rain. We're going to continue to have runoff. The, the best thing we can do is to try to keep reducing the amount of nutrients that are in that runoff. You can look down and see the bottom of the stream bed. We can see the wetland is coming back to life, that the fish spawning area is coming back to life. We've seen some fish, we've seen turtles, we've seen things that are here that we weren't seeing before. A lot of other counties and a lot of other municipalities are looking at this project and saying, hey, can we maybe do that where we are? We're going to do a whole bunch of different streams. We started at Dorn Creek. When we can go and remove that amount of phosphorus with one project, it's not only cost effective, it has a huge impact on our ability to clean up our lakes.